Although scripture doesn't affirm what the Lord did on Holy Wednesday, theologians consider that after two days in Jerusalem, Jesus and his disciples used this day to rest in Bethany in expectation of Passover. It is traditionally believed that Judas agreed to betray Jesus on the Wednesday before Easter Sunday. The Bible account of Holy Wednesday and in Judas agreeing and betraying Jesus is found in Matthew 26 verses 14 to 16 and Luke 22 verses 1 to 5. Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests, and asked, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? So they counted out for him thirty pieces of silver, from then on Judas watched for an opportunity to hand him over. Now the festival of unleavened bread, called the Passover, was approaching, and the chief priests and the teachers of the law were looking for some way to get rid of Jesus, for they were afraid of the people. Then Satan entered Judas, called Iscariot, one of the twelve, and Judas went to the chief priests and the officers of the temple guard and discussed with them how he might betray Jesus, they were delighted and agreed to give him money. Nine things you didn't know about Judas Iscariot We are all familiar with Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve original disciples known for his betrayal of Jesus Christ for thirty silver coins. But outside the betrayal, many know little about the man. Here are nine things you didn't know about Judas Iscariot. Judas was a popular Jewish name. Judas was the Greek spelling for the Hebrew name Judah meaning praise. Judas Iscariot was from Kerioth, a city 15 miles south of Hebron, in Israel. The Hebrew word Ishkarioth, for Iscariot means man of the village of Kerioth. Judas Iscariot not only traveled with Jesus, he studied under him for three years. Judas Iscariot was a hand-picked disciple of Jesus Christ. He trusted him so much, he was made treasurer of the apostolic evangelistic team by Jesus himself. Not only was he a hand-picked disciple, he was a preacher of the gospel, a healer of the sick and casted out demons. It is stated in the Gospels that Judas was the son of Simon Iscariot. While many Simons are referenced in the Bible and which Simon it was wasn't confirmed, many people believe he was the son of Simon Peter. According to the book of John 12 verse 6, Judas Iscariot was a thief, and having charge of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put in it. While Judas attempted to undo the harm he had done after his betrayal, he never sought the Lord's forgiveness. He thought it was too late for him and ended his life. While on the surface, Judas Iscariot's motive seemed to be greed, some scholars speculate political desires was what prompted the betrayal.